Well, it's no surprise that happiness is good for you, is good for others, and is good for the world around. But did you know that often kindness is got wrong? Yes, a simple act that comes from the heart, that's easy to do, is often not given in the best way. So we don't reap the benefits. So if you stay with this video, I'm going to give you some advice on how it goes astray, but also how to pull it back so that not only you can get the benefits, but someone else can as well. So let me kick this off with a little story. I used to have a client who I used to help walk. Okay, he was 80s when we met and unfortunately died in his early 90s. Now, in his last few weeks, he was bedridden. And in the last few weeks, I went to visit and I was like, oh, I'm going to take some flowers. OK, now I went to the store, got some brightly colored flowers and we took them, got a vase, put them at the end of the bed. He made us move them so he could see them. But I took a gift for him. Now, that was a prime example of an act of kindness because I gave him something that was personal, that would brighten up his day, but without expectation. OK, so that's where we go with kindness. So. Let me expand on those. and This will give you some advice on how to pull it back. Because when we go astray, it's we give and we expect. OK, so we expect someone to say thank you because they held the door for us or they got the shopping for us. We expect something or maybe we expect a tip. You know, we serve someone. We expect it. It's the expectation. Kindness without expectation is that simple. OK, so. I'm going to expand on the story of the flowers because that gives you the examples in motion. Now, the first one was I thought of something personal. This guy used to be an artist. He always had flowers in his house. He's painted flowers, people and some amazing works. I knew he liked flowers. OK, so nothing wrong. Male, female, everybody likes flowers. If you like flowers, you like flowers. It's great. I think it's fantastic. I also knew he was bedridden. So if I gave him theatre tickets or something like that, he wouldn't have enjoyed them because he wouldn't have been able to go. He would have then said yes to give them something else or someone else. OK, he wouldn't have enjoyed that moment. The other thing was I gave him the flowers that brightened up the room. He could see them and enjoy them. So even though I wasn't with him, it was like I was giving the joy with him for longer than just the time we had together. OK, remember, we count memories by feelings and moments. OK, and they expand because of what we remember. So how are we going to do this? Well, when we're kind, we're thinking about the person. I said we get that personal gift. How are they going to feel receiving this? Is this something that's going to make them feel good? OK, or is this not going to be quite the right gift for this person? The second one is removing expectation. Now, we all appreciate things. So even we may appreciate a gift and turn it down. We may appreciate an offer of help and turn it down. It doesn't mean the act of kindness is anything less. OK, we have to remove expectation because the minute we expect is the minute the value decreases. And then when we expect we don't receive back, we're the ones that feel deflated, like our efforts weren't worth it. Like, why do we bother? OK, so it has a negative effect because we've placed that expectation there. Remove expectation. Say, I offer this. I'll offer to carry your shopping. I offer to move your car. I offer to give you a call. Whatever it is, I offer. If you say no, no problem. You're welcome. That's it. We do not have to worry because they're not giving it back. And also, the last thing I want to say on this, because kindness is without limitation. Now, if it's the offer of a neighbor and uh, shopping, is that an open offer? Because kindness is limitless. So another example of what's been going on in my life, if a neighbor has had their car broken down. They can't start it because they didn't start it for a few weeks. So she's ordered some jump leads and the car's parked next to mine. First thing I said to her, you knock on my door if you need anything, any time, OK? Then my neighbours don't really know them, but there's an open offer there. And the reason there's an open offer there is because if they need something, they can always ask. If I can offer and accept, then I will say yes. You have the right to say yes or no. And anybody will be comfortable hearing a no 
because it means that that is not a solution for a problem or anything else. So let's move forward with kindness today. Let's give without expectation. Let's think about the person we're going to be kind to and give to them. And let's also thank ourselves for thinking about others and the world around us when we want to be kind today. Otherwise, guys, I wish you a beautiful and fantastic rest of your day.